Hello and welcome everyone to the first exciting adventure of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Here we go. Welcome back, everyone. This is maybe the fastest we've turned into the next Nuzlocke ever, but I just felt like we were having so much fun, couldn't bear not to continue on. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to be going over some of the brand new uh, randomizer adjustments I've made on uh, this playthrough. Uh, first, let's go through and set up our character. Uh, yes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Tell me your name. Let's see. My name is J. Just the letter J. There we go because you can't fit Jonathan in these old games, I'll tell you what. Jay, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventures about to unfold fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. See you later. All right, here we go. Okay, so uh, since this is the first episode, I'm sure many of you are familiar with what a Nuzlocke is, but there might be new viewers. So we're gonna go over some of just the basic rules. Uh, a regular Nuzlocke on its own, is a uh, is just a playthrough of Pokemon with self-enforced hard rules. So basically what that means is that the main thing is if at any point a Pokemon faints on your team, it is dead. You have to release it, it's gone forever. Which might not sound like such a big deal, just go catch another Pokemon, right? Except wrong, that's where rule number two comes in, which is that you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter on any given route or town or whatever. So, uh, and by that, I mean, you can only catch literally the first thing you run into. It's not like, oh, we ran into a Pidgey so we can only catch Pidgeys on this route. Like, no, you can only catch that one specific Pidgey. If you run out of Pokeballs or if you knock it out, that that's it, you don't catch it. That's not, that's, so you have very limited number of Pokemon to, um, that you can actually catch in the game. There is a limited number. Now, that said, I mentioned Pidgey, but really, we shouldn't be running into Pidgeys because this is a randomizer Nuzlocke. Actually, before I get into that, let me say rule number three is that you nickname all of your Pokemon. That makes you form emotional attachments to them. It is, it sounds silly, but it is wildly effective. Um, it is so terrible when one of your Pokemon dies. Um, we will be choosing the names from the comments uh, down below. So if you would like to have a Pokemon named after you, just make sure you go leave a comment right now. Go ahead and hit the like button while you're at it. That's super great. This is the first one. Yeah, this is this is the one with all the, this, we gotta get this one out there. This is the starting point, right? So uh, if you hit the like button right now, that would be tremendously helpful. We're in New Bark Town. We have to go get our Pokemon. So randomizer though. Uh, I'm sure lots of you are familiar with what this means, but maybe not everyone. What it means is that the Pokemon we're going to encounter in the grass will not be the traditional Pokemon we're going to encounter in the grass. Um, they will be completely random. They can be literally anything. Any Pokemon, this is a gen four game, so it can be any Pokemon from any, from the from the gen four Pokedex. Uh, that's That's what we're dealing with in this game. Um, and I do mean anything this time because one of the changes I've made, we just finished our leaf green randomizer, but one of the changes I made for this one was to allow legendary Pokemon to appear in the grass. So it is possible that here on route one, we could just run into Mew or something, which would be insane and really cool. Um, which might sound a little unfair, right? But it's not, it's not unfair because I have also set it so that the trainers we fight along the way are allowed to have legendary Pokemon. And as I was just, just as I was testing this out to make sure I had it all work, it started happening almost immediately. Like I fought one guy in Bellsprout Tower who had a Mesprit and a Regigigas. And I was like, oh, what have I done? This is, this is gonna be so, so we might get a legendary, but we are definitely, we might, chances are we won't, right? Cause it still has to be the first thing we run into and then we still have to be able to catch it. Uh, but our opponents definitely will at some point have legendary Pokemon, possibly even in this po in this episode on route one. So that's, uh, adds a little bit of extra flavor to the mix. Um, another change I made was in the last randomizer we had, we set it up so that um, look, there's, oh, there's our hated rival. <laughs> uh, we set it up so that all of the trainers were monotype trainers, meaning they all, um, all had 
at least one shared type between all of their Pokemon. Not the case this time. Every trainer will have a completely random set of Pokemon. So there's no, there's no like, oh, this guy's a bug trainer. We'll send out our fire type and just sweep him. It's like, yeah, he might've started with the bug, but they're all gonna have a wide variety of stuff, which ups the difficulty significantly. And I think makes it more okay if we do in fact have like a legendary or something on the team. Here we go. Professor Adam, hi, Jay, I've been waiting for you. So our starter should be interesting as well. I did at the very least set it up such that our, the starter Pokemon will be a stage one of a three stage evolution line, if that makes sense. So it could still be an actual starter. Last time we actually got a Totodile, which is a traditional starter in this region. Uh, we'll just see what we get. We'll see what we get. I'm gonna, can you, it can, yeah. Oh, what I love about this game is the Pokemon follow you around. I think that's most of the changes I've made. Um, oh, no, I see one other, is that uh, after the opponent's Pokemon start being over level 40, they will all be fully evolved. Um, I This is a, this fixes a problem from the last Nuzlocke where at the beginning, the game was really hard because we were so, uh, we had, with such a high, with such with low number of teammates, you had like a really high potential to lose. But once you got really good Pokemon, like we caught like a Bagon in Mount Moon. So at that point, we had this big scary dragon on our team for like the whole run, which was great. Um, but it makes it makes things easier. And then we got to like the Elite Four, and Lorelei had like four Aerons, and that was just sort of like a little lackluster. So this will guarantee that uh, late game trainers are all very difficult. So we are <laughs> we are upping the difficulty significantly. Here we go. Huh. I had this acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that uh, he's got so it's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still busy with our Pokemon. Wait, can you can you go get that egg? You can choose a Pokemon over there. All right, so here we go. This is going to be our starter Pokemon. What? I have no idea what they're going to be. Touch a Pokeball to see what's inside. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Okay. All right. Rhyhorn. Mareep. Or Shinx. Oh, so we have two potential electric types here. That is very interesting. I kind of feel like... Okay, so our rival will, of course, pick one of the other Pokemon. I'm not sure how they're doing it. If we pick the Rhyhorn, we can guarantee our... We will always have the type advantage over our rival, at the very least, right? Because they will be stuck with a Mareep or a Shinx. Now, that said, Shinx is pretty cool. There is no doubt, like I love Luxray. That's pretty cool, but oh, man, starting with a Rhyhorn also seems pretty fun. Um, man, oh man, it, and I don't know, I don't know what's replacing what right here. So if we, if we pick the Shinx and he gets the Rhyhorn, that's no good. Like if we get the Shinx and he gets the Mareep, that's okay. Um, it's definitely between Rhyhorn and Shinx. Oh man, Ben. I need you to weigh in. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, these are our starters. We got Shinx, Rhyhorn, and Mareep. Give me, give, give me the first one again. Uh, Shinx and Rhyhorn, Shinx. This evolves into like a big electric lion. This evolves into like Rhyperior. So the thing is, if we pick the Rhyhorn, we'll always have it a type advantage over our opponent because both of these are electric and this is ground. So we'll always have that. I mean, but that would seem like the strategic thing to do, maybe not the fun thing to do. I, I mean, it's not not fun, but... Um, I am partial to Shinx. You're partial to Shinx? Okay. I, I am. We're, I think we're going Shinx, because I like Shinx. Shinx is one of, it's one of my faves. It's one of my faves. So let's just do it. Uh, we're not going to Rye Come on. This is this is the fun, right? Gen 4 in the... What? All right. Now we need a name, though. Oh, dearest me. We got the Shinx, okay. Oh, and it follows you. Yes, it follows you, which is even better. Even better. We need a nickname for old Shinxy here. Oh, so man. bear in mind, it turns into like a big lion. I don't know if that affects your well, naming. So for some reason, uh, I'm going to the, the Sphinx from the maze in old HP. Oh, right. Tablet. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think if there's a, like, okay. So the Sphinx gives a riddle. Yeah. And the riddle's answer is spider. Right. Right? Yeah. Okay. So what would be a good spider name to 
give to Shanks. Like, do you follow? Do you follow the logic? I got, I got you. What's a good spider name for our line? Okay. okay. I mean, uh, Aragog. <laughs> yeah, like Aragog. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I went to like Spider Man. Oh, sp oh, I see what you're saying. Like Peter. Like Pete. Yeah, Peter. But Peter's kind of a boring name. That is. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, we could do like like Miles or something. Oh, like Miles Morales. Like Miles Morales. I like Miles. Miles. All right. Is, is, is it Miles M Y or M I? I mean, we could. I think it's M I, but we can change it if you want. No, it's okay. M I sounds good. M I sounds good. All right, Miles. Miles the Shinx. Miles the Spider Lion. I love it. The there spider we go. Lion, nobody ever sees it coming. No one ever sees it coming. Everyone's like, "What? It's a lion? No, it's a spider!" Boom! Spider Lion. Now you're caught in my web. Now you're caught in my web. Oh, if we can learn Electro Web, we absolutely have to. I don't know if that's a move yet. Anyway, is Miles the nickname you want to? It's done. It's done. Miles Shinx named after Miles Morales for obvious reasons. Because Shinx sounds like Sphinx. Sphinx is in Harry Potter. The answer to the riddle in Harry Potter is Spider, Spider, Spider Man, Miles Morales. Boom. Obvious. Okay, there we go. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's amazing. Oh boy. Okay. So the good news is we're gonna, we can at the very least level up Shinx. Oh my God, what do you want? I want you to have these. Oh, the potions, I was, okay. So officially the Nuzlocke begins when you get Pokeballs. Uh, that's how I typically play it. So you could play it any other, way, any other way you want, but that's how I do it. So we don't have Pokeballs yet. The reason you do that is because often you have to go through the first route a couple of times before you get the Pokeballs and you might have encounters before then. So that's not as much fun. Um, so you pick Shinx, that's a cute Pokemon. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! All right, come on, Miles. Let's go. Oh, Jay, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Uh, uh what kind of task? Ah, I don't tons that we gotta, gotta go get an egg, impossible. But when someone makes that kind of request, it must be important. I can, your Poke gear came. Back from the shop. Well, it's about time, Mom. I've been waiting on that poker gear. I'll probably never open it once ever. Yes, I know how to use a phone. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, are we done? Can we, this, this, the orientation in this game is forever. I believe, just let's double check that we don't have, oh, what's the menu button? Okay, there it is. I don't think we have Pokeballs, but let's just double check. Yeah, we have nothing yet, so. Right now, what we're gonna do, go do is just, oh, Professor Elm, wait one second. Mm-hmm. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Okay, great. If anything call, if anything comes up, I'll call you. All right, great. You're so lucky. My mom just came back and got me that poker gear. All right, so this will be a great example, just so you can see what kind of uh, randomness we shall encounter in the grass. What could it be? What could it be? No, we can't catch this. This doesn't. This hasn't officially started. But it's happy! Oh my gosh! It's the we could we could immediately catch a for alligator. <laughs> oh, we have intimidate. Oh my god! Look at what a good omen though. What a good omen. This we can't catch it. We don't have pokeballs yet, but it will be possible to catch. Oh, our old friend. Our old friend. How amazing would it be if we just immediately got another for alligator? <laughs> it does fill my heart with more. I know, it, that feels like a good omen, does it not? It's like, happy is like, guys, guys, you got this. I've done this, we're there. I can't believe that was the first encounter. That's amazing. Uh, we couldn't catch it, who's to say? But, I mean, if, we, if, if our first encounter, did that guy have, did he have leftovers? That would be such an amazing, if we catch a Munchlax that has leftovers on it, I mean, that's gonna be Gnarls Barkley, y'all. That would be, oh, and there's a, we can get you a mill tank. Oh, you guys know how much I love mill tank. The answer is a lot. Okay, tackle that thing. We're gonna leer it. Oh gosh, it's so strong. We might actually have to run, I'm sorry. My goodness me. My, okay, we are immediately in danger. Oh gosh. A Celio. Oh, another seal. There's so many good omens in this first grass. We we're being visited by so many, by so many good omens here. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, the fur alligator is back. It makes me so happy. Get it? <laughs> Don't you leer me. Okay. We've knocked out thus far two fur alligators. Miles greeted by our former star. Like, what are the 
odds? What are the odds of that? I mean, I can't make this stuff up. I can't believe the stuff that happens in these things. Like, the the, ran the randomness, it already happens. You're a rookie trader, aren't you? No. No, I'm not, but thanks anyway. Okay, great, running shoes. Look at you, old man running around. Give me stuff, give me stuff. Mm-hmm, okay, I got it. Water, surf, you get it. Man, you guys, what if we catch Happy? We're gonna have to get the sensor bar back. I mean, there's just, what, what if that, but what if, but what if? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. I mean, it would be just amazing. It would be just, it would fit, it would make me so, and now I believe we cannot, uh, we can't get any, we're gonna go ahead and buy some of these just because, can't hurt. Right. We're gonna go ahead and buy some more potions too. Cause uh, you can never have too many potions, right? It says, uh, I have a sticky notes that say buy Pokeballs and for buying potions. So, man, let's go try and fight one more level out of uh, this grass over here. Oh, the mill tank is back. Man, if we get your mill tank. So, so far, Celio, mill tank, Munchlax, or Feraligator look like the things we'll be able to catch in this opening grass, which they're all just such great options. Okay, there's a level. Fantastic. Miles is growing up so quick. I'm gonna, I mean, there's no reason not to heal, right, since we're here. Oh my gosh, we gotta go run this errand. I so, no, I don't, what, what, what? No, okay, well, you're very healthy now. Go away, okay. Oh my goodness, what, what, ugh, now what? Ugh, I forgot, yes, take it. God, this, the amount of people who have to like, stop you from doing what you wanna do. So Route 30, this will be a different catch we can get once we get Pokeballs, we can back up. Oh, another Celio. Interesting. We've run into a bunch already. Oh. Now the the fun thing about about Celio is of course that uh, last time we had a nice little ice seal with us the whole time, the lovely Data the Dugong. So what? how fitting would it be if we had yet another, another potion, lovely. If we had another, what do you want? Can I fight you? I guess not. What about you? You give me the apricorn box, right? Ah, the apricorn box. Okay, so he, um, you can use the apricorns to make, like, unique Pokeballs, I believe. The Gurn Apricorn. All right, here we go. Making our way up. Found the antidote. Uh-huh. I think we gotta get up here to this guy's house. Somewhere. There he is. Aha! Oh, there's Professor Oak. Ah, you must be Jay. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Obtain the mystery egg. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Jojo. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. Oh, good. He healed us. And with that, I'm Professor Oak. So you're Jay. Hmm. I heard you were running an errand, so I waited here. Oh, who's this? I see. You must be having Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. Ah, uh, ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? Mm-hmm, oh. I like how it's still Professor Oak, he's like, hmm, another kid? You can help fill this research thing. It's not, it's not Professor Elm, he does not care. Oak's like, I gotta, I got, got, people gotta write my encyclopedia, man. I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers, look at me, just meeting professors left and right. All right, uh, so we still don't have any Pokeballs yet. Oh, now what? Oh, that's a disaster. Get back in now. All right, all right, well, I'm coming back. I've got your egg. Oh, another apricorn. It's punk apricorn. Okay, very good. Let's see. What else might we run into on this route if and when we get here? A Venomoth. Interesting, interesting indeed, charge. No, charge is no good. Supersonic, I don't like that. Miles, you can do this. Miles, stop being confused. Okay, good. We made it. Miles, I mean, he's a fresh Pokemon. You know, he's not, he's not entirely ready. Now, I, I, I can't hold it against him for not, uh, you know, fending off the confusion just yet. Water gun, how dare you? Okay, well, we got him now. Look at that, level 10 already. Good job, Miles. Good job. What a good little shinx. 
So we're gonna go and heal, because I think you have to fight uh, your rival real quick. And we'll see if he chose the Mareep, or if he chose the Rhyhorn. Let me tell you, if he chose the Rhyhorn, I'm not loving that very much. Then we're gonna have to constantly deal with like a Rhyhorn and a Rhydon. Not that we might not have to deal with them immediately anyway. This is the thing, like what's real scary right now is if we came across like a, a trainer in the, like we don't have any backup, you know? We could come across a trainer right now who sends out Golem and we're just like, uh, what, what do? We're gonna be, we're gonna be very screwed. So we need to catch something else ASAP. That's a Pokemon too good. Oh, give it up, Sand. All right, hello, hello. Bump, 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 ba dum, bump. Oh, wait, what? What? He also chose Shinx? How does that work? That's not how the. I don't understand. You. How did you. The imposter. The imposter. He has a Shinx too. How did that even happen? I don't know how this happened. This is weird. I guess we both have Shinx. Uh, okay, well, that is, that's interesting. He should have chosen something else. I don't know, he shouldn't have the same Pokemon as us, but I guess he does. I guess he does. Uh, that seems like some sort of weird glitch in the randomizer, but uh, is what it is. Now we know, now, we, now we'll see who has the better Shinx. You saw my name. Oh, you're right, whoops. <laughs> That's your fault. That's your fault. So let's just get back here, finish running the errand, and then we will, uh, you got, you have free stuff? No, you just tell me that I can jump off bridges. Okay, let's get back to town. And here we go. We can deliver the egg. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. Nonsense. Hold on a second, here's nothing to do with it. I saw it, there was this red-haired boy looking into the building. Mm -hmm. That's right, it wasn't me. I didn't steal it. You battled a boy like that? He must have voted who did it. Did you get his name? Oh, I got his name. I got his name, all right. It is our, the return of our other hated rival, Celery. All right, he's back. Celery. I see, so Celery was his name, it was. Prepare to die, Celery. Probably not die. Prepare to have your Pokemon fainted over and over again by the superior Shinx, Miles. I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. All right. Hmm, this is terrible. Oh yes, that was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery. Jay handed the mystery egg to Professor Elm. Huh, this is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mm-hmm. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds about the egg. What? Oh, gave you a Pokedex? That's true? It's incredible! He is superb at seeing potential! I'll say. Things are gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, okay, fight the gym leaders. Becoming champion is not easy. Well, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a task to just give this 10-year-old, right? Uh, it's got a long journey, blah, 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 blah. Can I get some Pokeballs? Who could give me the Pokeballs? Did, did did he and I just missed it? I want to catch. I think maybe it happens, maybe when you go out into the, um... oh, we do have the running shoes so we can at least run. Oh, here we go. She's about to give them to us, I think. There you are. You can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. <clears throat> uh-huh. Just like that. Do we, oh, a ghastly, interesting. Oh, she has a pupitar. Oh gosh, we should remember that. That's going to, if we have to, I'm pretty sure we have to fight her sometimes, right? I don't like that she has a pupitar. That means she's going to have a tyranitar. <laughs> that could be dangerous later on. Uh, yeah. Okay, it looks like a Meryl. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have the Pokeballs. What could we catch, you guys? Guys, what could we catch? Do we want the mill tank? Do we want, obviously we want the for alligator. Obviously that's what we want, right? How could we not? How could we not? Okay, well, this is it. This is our first encounter. This is on route 29. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Will it be happy? 
It is not. It is a bennet. Ooh, interesting. Int this was not something we encountered earlier. <gasps> oh, but it could be bad because I'm not sure we can hit it. I'm not sure we can hit it. Because it's ghost and all we have is a normal type attack. See? You see the problem. You see the danger. Okay, so maybe though, maybe we could just Pokeball it. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Um, we can't hit it. This is a problem. All we can do is Pokeball it. And hope. No! Oh, no, we're gonna... We're gonna miss it, you guys. We're gonna miss it! <laughs> this is... Why does this always happen? Come on! No! Oh, it's the worst. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna miss it. This is no good. No! Oh no! It used curse. <gasps> oh, but we've been cursed. Oh goodness. Okay, it hurt itself. We can work with that. It hurt itself. That's all we. That's all we could have hoped for. This is our last chance to catch it, or we just we just whiff on our first one, which wouldn't be uncommon. But one, two. No! It got out. Oh no! Oh no! All right. Now we just run. Well, that's such a bummer. We don't have any pokeballs now. <laughs> we use the ball. Okay, I'll take care of your buddy. Wait, can I just... Can I... Do you not... You don't heal me here, mother? Oh, this is so annoying. Ugh. What a... What an unfortunate start. To think, you guys, it could have been... It could have been happy. And instead, it was a Benek that came in and laughed at us through its dumb zipper. And now, it's nothing. Now, of all the things to run into, we don't have any Pokeballs. Can we buy some, at least, at this next... Oh, there's another one. Oh, well, we can't... We can't even fight them. So this is a problem, though. Like, you see the immediate... Like, if we ran into a trainer right now that had a ghost-type Pokemon, like... What are we supposed to do? We'd be, we would lose, basically. That would be the end of the run right now. Okay, we can buy Pokeballs, thankfully. I'm just gonna buy as many as we can. And now we're gonna go try and catch some different Pokemon because we obviously have a problem. Right now, we are completely dead to ghost types. So we can, I don't even think we can risk fighting a trainer because if that happens, that's just it. So Route 29, complete whiff. So Route 30, here we go. The real first encounter. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see. What's it gonna be? Route 30, come on, what's it gonna be? What do you think, Ben? Oh, it's a Stantler. We, we did, we caught one of these last time. All right, all right. He has Intimidate, we could have double Intimidate. Now, these things have pretty strong stomps. Last I checked. We're gonna give it the old tackle. It's a leer. Okay, and we're gonna give it another tackle. Come on, Miles. Nice and gentle. Don't crit it. Okay. He's going for the leer. Okay, 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 okay. Now, interestingly, it'd still be bad against ghosts. <laughs> we would still lose that fight. Because it's still a normal type user. We gotta get something with another, or we have to get Miles to learn another attack. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? He's used so many leers, it's making me nervous. What if he just like, crits us? What if he just crits us? No, Stantler! Oh my gosh, he's used so many leers. This cannot, if he, if he like hits us, we could like actually die because we've taken so many leers. Oh my gosh, we got him. We got, we caught a Pokemon and it's a Stantler. Oh. Here we go. Those who stared at Santlers will gradually lose control of their senses and be unable to stand. Else, okay. All right, we need a nickname. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, okay. Well, so have you watched Have you watched Shadow and Bone yet? I have not. Okay. Well, there's a stag that has really cool antlers. Okay. And it's Morozova. M O R O Z O V A. Okay. Moro. Z O V A. Morozova. Morozova. Just All a right. cool sounding name. That is good. That is good. Morozova. Morozova the Stantler. Welcome, welcome to the team. team. Welcome, welcome. Indeed. All right, let's go heal real quick so we can start using Morozova. Now, both of our Pokemon, at the very least, have Intimidate, which is a really good start. Let's let's check out um, what else Morozova has here. Just Tackle and Leer, so not tremendously powerful just yet, but I have I have high hopes for you. Oh look, there's Morozova just following us. I think we can immediately go up here as well and maybe try and catch something else. Maybe we should try and get a quick level on Morozova. Oh, a Wizmer, boy. Just reminds me of good old Walt the Wizmer, AKA the Snorlax of the last playthrough. Oh, another one. Okay, well, interesting. We're just gonna try and get maybe just just a quick level here. Just maybe just one more quick fight, right? No bigs. Oh, a Grovi! Look at all the things we might have caught but didn't. Instead, we failed to catch a Banette. So, uh, a win all around, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. And we're just gonna heal real quick on Morozova. And I think there was, can you not enter the route right here? I think we can. Okay, so this is gonna be Route 46 where we can catch something new as well. Um, let's, I think probably we should lead with Miles. Just so we're a little bit stronger. We'll throw the Intimidate on whatever it is. Here we go, Route 46. Can we catch something? It's a Waylord! What? <laughs> That's so funny. It's so big. Oh man. I honestly think we should just, we should actually switch. I think we should switch. We're gonna put another Intimidate on it and growl it because our tackle is just weaker. I don't want to knock it out. Part of me thinks we should just, I mean, it's, if it wasn't a fully evolved Waylord, um, I'm just gonna use one Pokeball here to see if we can catch it without having to do anything. Okay, okay. Growl. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna tackle it. Okay, see, we're good. We're good. Give it another quick tackle. All right. It it doesn't look like it even has. Can can it even damage us? I don't know. I think that's about as much as we can damage it though. So we have four opportunities at it. Let's see. You guys, we got a Waylord. All right, that's that's pretty solid. It's a pretty solid early game poke, dare I say. It is the largest of all identified Pokemon. They jump as a pack to herd their prey. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need a nickname. That's what we're gonna need. Um, let me let me go into. I'll I think I can choose here. How about Peppers? Peppers! From, well, it's actually from Matthew Peppers, but. All right. I like Peppers. Peppers it is. All right, Peppers the Waylord. That's after uh, Matthew Peppers in the comments from uh, the finale of The Last Nuzlocke. So thank you so much for watching welcome to the team oh that is an addition you guys that is how yeah that is uh that's pretty good let's have a quick uh let's have a quick look at old peppers here i'm excited about that oh look at that he has rollout and water gun he kept only using splash but water gun pretty solid let's go and he has um <clears throat> a lot of she has a lot of health let's yeah let's let's just potion and, uh, oh, whoops. And I think maybe we'll do a quick switch train right there, right? We'll just, uh, 
Well, oh my gosh, look at, look, look at Pepper's following us around. Oh my god, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> look at this, look at the whale. It's so funny. Oh, I love it. Like it, it is like a blimp. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, we're gonna, uh, let's see. This is, I bet, it wouldn't even surprise me if we got two levels off this. Uh, the tackle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're dead, take that, mill tank. You're gone. Pepper's good level four. Look at that, we did get two levels. We got two levels off of a level three fight. That's unbelievable. All right, let's, can we get another one? Let's go. Oh my gosh! Ugh. It's freaking Dialga. Can you, this could have been our first encounter, you guys. Uh, but it wasn't. Instead, we didn't catch that Banette, remember? Remember when we didn't catch Banette and then we could have caught Dialga or we could have caught Happy, the for alligator, right back onto our team? Yep, that's what happened. This is the fight we're in right now. Do you, oh my God! Okay, okay. The good news is it's level three. I don't think we can take it. Um, um, can we take it? Can we take it? It has dragon breath. I don't like that. We could have had the Alga. Oh my gosh. Woo, boy. Okay. Um, bu 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 but, uh, what do we do? Should we even fight it? I don't even know if I want to fight it. We don't have to. It's just a wild Pokemon. It's just sort of fun to fight. I think we're just going to run. We don't need to fight that right now. Oh my god, what's happening? The the god of time has, like, glitched our game out. What is going on? Ugh! Okay, that was weird. Well, alright. See, this is what happens when you uh, mess with the forces of time. The whole game got glitchy. That was weird. My goodness. Um, let's try that again. Let's just try that again with something that isn't... Oh, never mind. Never mind. He wants more. Run. Can't... Oh, no! I don't like it. He's back for more. He's dragon breathing us, and now we're paralyzed. And we're just gonna run. Okay. Dialga has claimed that, gla that grass for himself. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, it almost... It almost dragon breathed our, uh... Our pepper's dead from us. That would have been terrible. Instead, what we're gonna do... Oh, a Venomoth. That seems way more manageable. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, can we just get to the next town? I think that's what we're gonna try and aim for. Is get to the next town. Pepper's going to level five! Well done, Peppers. Well done, indeed. You can do this. Maybe we'll get another... Grass a Volbeat! Uh, can we fight it? I bet we could even take it, uh, right? Let's just get, well, let's see how Water Gun does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. We just laugh off those tackles, no problem. All right. Oh my gosh, gay peppers. <coughs> peppers, you're amazing. I like you already, and a stant laugh. All right, let's see how the Water does against the, uh, the Water does, Water Gun does against stant laugh. Yep. Yeah, I think we got it. I think we're gonna get the level too. Oh yes, Peppers. <laughs> it levels up so fast, I can't believe it. It's such a big Pokemon. This is amazing. Oh, a love disc. Okay. Um, let's just try and hit it with the old with the old rollout, I think. Rollout is a somewhat dangerous move in a Nuzlocke because you get stuck in it. So if you like end up fighting something really scary, um, that's bad news. And they like try and like start switching on you or something. Uh, but not we might be able to use it to our advantage, you know? It's always that. Do we have Defense Curl? Actually, did I notice that? I haven't even noticed, I haven't looked. No, we have Growl. Okay, so a fun combo that it's like a secret within the game is that if you use Defense Curl, it actually immediately doubles the power of rollout, like you have like rolled into a ball or something. Sort of a fun thing. They don't say it in the game, there's no way for you to know. But uh, it is there, that's a thing that happens. <clears throat> How, what are you gonna, con okay. Stop confusing me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Water gun, you're dead. Now, well, maybe Morozova will get a level now. Pepper's good to level nine. Look at Morozova. Or uh, Pepper's just wrecking, wrecking stuff. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should be training uh, Morozova instead of Pepper's. He's got a puzzle! I don't like that. That could be dangerous to us. Uh, I feel like, Let's go with Miles, because Miles will be resistant to any sort of, like, uh, thunder attacks it might have. We're just going to tackle this thing to death, because it has nothing on the mighty Miles. Oh, except Paralysis, which I don't like. That's okay. 
Miles, level 11, just like that. Wonderful. No. Please don't call me. Uh, bag. We're gonna go paralyze, heal, use. Miles, excellent. Let's go fight this guy. He doesn't know it's about to hit him. It's a whale. A whale is about to hit him. It's about to. Sn oh, he's got a toe to dial. You, you dare. You dare. We're gonna go roll out, dude. We're just gonna build up. We're gonna build up that roll out. Now, whatever you're gonna hit us with, Riolu. Uh. Uh. I think we just keep battling. I think we got it. Yeah. Foresight. Nothing. Oh, it used Endure. Quick attack, yeah. Also not good enough. Riolo, though, dangerous. Finding Steel. Pepper's good to level 10, just like that. Bam. How great. He's little Pepper. Not little Peppers. I mean, he's, he's a big boy. Big, big girl. Sorry, I should say. Woo. Let's get... Let's get Morozova maybe a quick fight here. I'm not a trainer. Well, I'll say. <clears throat> but do you see the danger? Like, this kid, like, this, this bug trainer, like could just have like Palkia or something, you know what I mean? Like, oh, or a Blastoise, do you see what I mean? Do you see the dangers? Do you see the kind of problems we're having? We're gonna go, I think, for the Leer here. Okay. And uh, good thing is we threw an Intimidate on it, we crit the Blastoise just like that. Boom, we got the level for Morozova, well done. Taking out, uh, I and mean, he's got a Weedle. Okay, so we're just gonna um, keep that on here. No big deal. Gonna hit it with the old tackle, just like that. Morozova, one hits a Blastoise and a Weedle. Pretty good, I mean, the Blastoise. Route 31, so this is actually a new route. Um, we can actually catch yet another new Pokemon. This is an exciting first episode, you guys. Uh, what? We're gonna switch to Miles to fight whatever it is. Throw an Intimidate on it, and what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What can we catch on this route? for free. Probably not for free. Maybe we can't run into anything at all. There it is. All right. It's oh, a Wormadom. Guys, if there is an actual least favorite Pokemon of mine, it is Wormadom. Like, ugh, this is the worst. This is a terrible catch. I don't even know if I want it. I think just, I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to knock it out. I mean, I won't because, I mean, we, we always need something. But man, what a... What a disappointment. I mean, I mean, I genuinely mean, Leaf, like, Burmy. Oh, so... It's not even a... It's not even like a Motham, right? Or maybe we're not even gonna catch it. It can hear me talking. It's like, you don't want me, I don't want you. That's fine. This is the relationship, apparently, we're gonna have. All right, Pokeball. This is our last Pokeball, so either we catch it or we don't. It's not like a huge loss or anything, but you always want more options, I guess. <gasps> I feel like that was spite. I feel like it was like, okay, just kidding. I just wanted you to use all your stuff. <laughs> and he said the worm, madam, uh, that evolves on a cold day will have a thicker cloak. Great. Yeah. Okay, we need a name. We need a name. Andrea. Andrea the Wormadom. Welcome to the team. Or now, I will say that one of the rules I play with is that you have to, if you can have, if you can have six Pokemon, you must have six Pokemon. You can't like leave one in the box as like a safety net or something, uh, like in case the whole team dies. I will say, I also, in case you're curious, the way I play it is that uh, if your whole team dies and you do have Pokemon in the box, you can continue. Um, chances are you're you're done anyway. But you know, these things happen. Jay found a potion. We may as well, I guess. Um, despite, we'll just, we may as well heal Andrea. There we go. And I'm going to move Morozova back to the front. Oh no! The game is getting all sorts of weird glitchy on me. Maybe it'll fix itself? Please fix yourself. Dark cave. I guess we can catch something in here, right? This is our last Pokeball, so either we catch it or we don't. Even if, uh... We can't see anything just yet. We can still use it as a, a Cubone. Oh, that's fun. Now that's a now that's a catch right there. Oh no, we knocked it out. What? No, 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 no. Oh man. Oh man. Well, all right. Never mind. Dark cave gone. We don't get anything in the dark cave. This is the same route. Yeah. So we already cut. This is this is the same route thus far. 
<laughs> I walked far too long. Look at my feet hurt. Okay. We got the black apricorn. Black apricorn right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this item. I think we're almost to the next town. It's a Pokeball! Okay, so we actually could catch something new if we have the opportunity now. Oh my gosh, that's right. I wouldn't have even been able to catch that Cubone because we didn't have any uh, Pokeballs left. That would have been, you know what? So I shouldn't have gone in there. That was a huge mistake on my part. Um, this Relicanth is going down. Morozova is going to go to level seven. I'm trying to learn to start a Wingle. Um, bup, 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 Let's, let's just keep out on I think we can take a Wingle, no problem, right? Yeah, do we learn a new move? Do we have Astonish now? Kecleon, uh, keep battling. Oh, we did, what do you know? Look at this, Morozova. Oh, a Plusle, <laughs> keep battling. We got this, no problem. This guy's got nothing. Just gonna wreck his whole little level two team there. Sorry, ha 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 ha. No, you cannot get my phone number. I don't wanna talk to you ever again, goodbye. Oh, another Wormadam. Yeah, I mean, this is so fun. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, Wormadam. Uh, what about you? You fight or? You caught a cool Pokemon in Dark Cave? Well, rub it in, why don't you? Oh, no. Are you going to fight me? Oh, the verse recorder. Okay. I have to go now. All right. All right. Well, we've made it to Violet City. I think this is where we're going to call it for the day. But let's take a look at our current team real quick before we get going. We've got Morris over the Stantler, Peppers the Waylord, thank you very much, Andrea the Wormadam, and Miles the Shanks. Uh, I think in the next episode, we'll probably try and clear up Bellsprout Tower and maybe go for our first gym badge. I have no idea how that's going to go. Uh, lots of new Pokemon to catch, but if you want a Pokemon named after you, make sure you leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm so excited for this new journey, but until next time, bye!